casting challenge in that we were looking for an act, a suitable actor and a credible musician, which is hard to find in combination. And we thought we were starting to think, well, you know, it might, that person might not exist. There are a lot of actors who can sing and play, but this was specifically about a musician who's playing entire songs many times throughout the course of the movie and has to be believable as being a musician. It has to be that good. So we found Oscar, he did an audition tape, and we sent it to T-Bone, and T-Bone said, well, this guy plays as good or better than a lot of the musicians I work with. Hire that guy. Okay. Hey, look, I'm happy for the gig, but who, who wrote this? I did. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, uh-oh. <laughs> Justin, um, Justin Timberlake, he seemed so obvious. He had the gifts we needed. You know, a credible actor and a credible musician. And then that repeat is just, oh, please. Oh, please. He came on when we were doing pre-records of the music, and he sings on three songs. You know, he was playing piano, and, so, and he, he was kind of all over the place, sort of helping to sort of arrange and figure out stuff. Oh, please. 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 Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> There's someone special in the audience tonight who will maybe get up and help me out here if you give a round of applause. I don't have my guitar. I know that you folks know him and love him. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim and Jean. Carrie seemed to sort of perfectly embody this idea of this, you know, woman who sings very sweetly, but is unbelievably angry. <laughs> we should have had you wear double condoms. She has a real romanticism about their lives, this group of musicians together, and I think she has more faith in him than pretty much anyone, so she really thinks that he can make it. I think she's just constantly annoyed at his inability to sort of reach his potential. Do you ever think about the future at all? The future? You mean like flying cars? Hotels on the moon? Tang? His sort of bumbling and his laziness in, in how he treats people is just irritating to her because I think she sort of wishes that she could change every single thing about him and make him better. You know? Lewin needs to get to Chicago, and so this mysterious car pulls up, and, and I think our section of the film sort of seems like a whole short film within itself. Um, you know, it, it turns a Greenwich Village, New York City struggling artist film into a road film for a slight amount of time. Roland just likes to spout off just whatever kind of pops into his foul little head, and express his magnificence uh, to anybody in earshot, and uh, Lewin just happens to be in earshot. What'd you say you played? Folk songs. Folk songs. I thought you said you were a musician. They put you in a world that you've never quite been in, and within that world, every character has their own specificity, and that's just, uh, it's masterful, is really what it is. Au revoir.